This video demonstration is brought to you by Heart Internet, the UK's number one reseller hosting company. This is Ben from Heart Internet, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up and configure domain names, web hosting, and add on products for your host pay installation. Now, to get started, you'll need to log into your customer area. Click the button at the top. Okay, once you've logged in, if you want to scroll across to the reseller control center icon on the left, and give that a click and scroll up to the host pay icon that's under the manage tab at the top okay the first step in configuring your hosting company is setting up what domains you actually want to sell and at what price i'll show you how simple host pay makes this task by walking you through the process as well as being able to configure the pricing of each domain you can also configure what domains you want to sell for example if you just want to sell .co.uk and .com domains you could or if you wanted to offer our full range of domains, including .tv, .info, .org, plus all the others that Heart Internet does, you can do so. You can also set the registration period for .com domains from one to 10 years, and also the pricing for transferring in domain names from other providers. It's all managed via this section here. So once you're ready, please click the domain products icon on the left. Okay, this page will allow you to set up and configure what domain names you want to sell and at what price. The drop down menu on the left lists all the configuration types of each domain product. If you click the drop down menu, you'll notice there are various setup options. The first option will apply global changes per domain group. For example, if you select the UK domain option, click add, and we can adjust the costs to um, say 10 pounds. This will make all .uk domain names have this price associated with them. The same logic applies for the global and uk.com domain name groups. The next section in the list is pretty similar to the way the group registration option works, but this applies to the transfer fees, again, on a per group basis. As you would expect, using the group registration and group transfer option will be the fastest way to configure your domain product prices because it applies the price globally across all domain extensions. Now, if you wanted to configure pricing on a per domain basis, you'd want to use the following options. Scrolling down the list, you can see all the domains that are available to you to configure and sell via your host pay website. If I go ahead and click a .co.uk domain and then click add, you'll see it automatically added to the management section, allowing you to adjust the pricing. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to put in £10. If I click a .com domain, you notice you have the option to adjust the default and maximum amount of years a user can register a domain name for. Now when you add a domain transfer product, you can enter a one-off charge a user will have to pay in order for them to move the domain to your hosting company from their existing provider. Once you're happy with your own setup, you can go ahead and click Save Changes. It's really important you do this, otherwise you're going to lose all the settings you've just made. Okay, if everything went through fine, you'll get a thank you message just confirming that your settings have now been saved. Okay, so once you've spent a bit of time yourself setting up the domain names and the pricing, the next step would be actually to handle how domains should be paid for and processed. Now to do this, you want to scroll down to the Global Preferences tab here on the right. Click that. Okay, so the Global Preferences page not only allows you to set up how domains should be paid for and processed, but also contains all other configuration options for your host pay installation. The first section on this page is the currency and tax setup. You've got a drop down here for your currency. So you've got dollars, euros, etc. Your tax rate, the tax name you want to give it. And there's also the option to add your VAT number. This will appear on all the invoices that get sent out. Your company address is pre-filled there and you get the option whether you want to add tax to prices. Terms and conditions. Now with every host pay installation we provide you a full set of terms and conditions which you could modify to your own needs and it gives a location there. Again you, you, can, you can change this to whatever you feel see fit. Language and location with all the languages you would expect in the drop down. Location as well, same applies for that. Hosting package description URL. This is where to send users if they want to find more information about what hosting products you do. If I was to open this URL in a new tab, there you go, that's what it would look like. All your packages set up there, including their features. You 
Now, for this tutorial, we'll be concentrating on the domain management method. Now, this section gives you three options on how you want domains to be processed via your host pay installation. The first option you'll see in the list is the default method, and it's using Heart Internet's domain robot. This is definitely the method I'd recommend to all those who want to get domains registered, transferred and renewed completely in real time, the instant payment has been completed by your end user. You will need to have domain credits though on your account in order to use this option. The second option is turning the domain robot off. We also call this the semi-auto registration. This method isn't as instantaneous as the first domain robot option. This will require some manual work from yourself. And how it works is, once a user purchases a domain from yourself, you'll be sent an email. Now this email can be used to push that domain that the person ordered into your own shopping basket, and you'd have to purchase it from Heart Internet as normal. Now one thing I will suggest if you do use this method or any method that requires some sort of manual work and that's to have someone to cover you should you become ill or you decide to go on holiday as you wouldn't want orders there sitting there for weeks going unprocessed. You can imagine how uh, disgruntled that customer will be so that's my certainly my recommendation for that. Now the third and final option is the domain notification only or manual registration. Now using this method, we will send you a domain robot template which will include the domain name and the registration details of the user who just purchased it from your shop. And then you can take this information and send a template to the domain robot or you can actually use it to register the domain elsewhere, so with another hosting or domain company. So we give you the freedom to do that too. The next section is setting what domains to exclude from the default registration method. If you decide to use either domain robot on or off as your main method to register domain names and you think actually I want to use manual for some other domains, you actually can in this section. All you have to do is simply tick the box next to the corresponding domain like that and that means that manual registration will be applied to those domain extensions. It's really that simple. Now the next section is allow domain references. If you enable this, your customers will be able to purchase hosting from you whilst being able to manage their domain with another company by either changing their name savers or maintaining their own DNS records directly. So if you have customers who are unwilling to actually transfer their domain or you don't provide domain registration or renewal services, this option would be appropriate to enable. And finally, the last section is test mode. Now test mode allows you to test your host pay installation without charging yourself any real money or registering any domain names. So if you're using the domain robot, you receive an email for each domain purchase, which will include the subject test robot. Now the main purpose of this is to test your host pay installation before going live to make sure you're happy with the way it looks, feels, works, you know, all the wording's right. So you don't actually want to be charging 10 pence for a domain when it actually costs 10 pounds. So once you're happy with the whole setup of this page, please click save changes. Okay, great. I've now shown you how to set up domain names for your host pay installation. That concludes part one. In part two, I'll be showing you how to set up web hosting, add-on services, and also payment gateways.